Today I'm going to show you how to safely and securely store your seed phrase on multiple USB sticks or SD cards. We're going to do this by running the Linux distribution tails from a live USB. I have created a script which will split your seed phrase into two or more parts and encrypt them so they can be stored on multiple drives. Then there is another script to rejoin the parts and decrypt them. The file can't be accessed without all of the parts together and also without the file being decrypted. This is all done offline and on a live image so nothing will ever touch the internet or your hard drive so this is safe and secure. You will need a minimum of two USB sticks and then either an extra USB stick or an SD card. So what we'll do with these, the first USB stick we will install Tails on, the second USB stick we will boot from Tails and then install Tails onto this drive. The reason we do this is we need to enable persistent storage and this is the only way to do it that I've found. Then once we've done that, we can then store the encrypted seed phrase on a USB drive and an SD card. And we'll keep this guy for booting from Tails when we want to do the decryption as well. So I want to show you one other option that you can use for the storage of the seed phrase. And that's a hard drive like this with hardware encryption. So this is extremely secure, but it's also very pricey. However, this uses hardware encryption and is probably the most secure way to do this. First thing we need to do is to create a bootable USB. You can use Rufus to do this. This is what Rufus looks like. You'll just need to download the ISO or image file and then use this software to burn it. I'll link the software in the description below. So I've already done this. Once you've done it, you'll want to plug your USB into your PC and then reboot the PC. And from the BIOS menu, you'll want to boot into the USB. To do this, you would normally press uh, F2, F8, F12, one of these keys, depending on the manufacturer of your motherboard. So once we've booted into Tails, you'll see a menu like this. Now a small caveat. I'm showing you this in a virtual machine as I don't have a capture card. However, you want to boot normally and this is what you'll see. So when you see this, you want to click Start Tails. I'll just forward the video while it loads. Okay, so I've got this warning, but this is just because I'm in a virtual machine. Ignore that. So once the operating system has loaded, you'll need to go to Applications, Tails, Tails Installer. Now, from here, you'll need to plug in your second USB. Once you've plugged in your second USB, you will see this will come up. And then you'll have a button here which says install. Mine says upgrade because it already has tails on it because I've already done that part. Once you've installed the second USB stick with Tails, we'll go ahead and shut your PC down and then you'll want to boot from that second USB stick. Okay, so we're back into the system. So now if you go to Applications, Tails, Configure Persistent Volume. So this is going to allocate a small part of the USB drive encrypted as storage so we can keep the script files we're going to download. At this menu, you need to enter a passphrase. I'll go ahead and enter that now. And create. This will take a minute. I'll pause the video till it's loaded. Okay, so once it's loaded, you'll see this menu here. Now we need to keep personal data selected so we can store the scripts. And we'll also need to 
enable additional software as there are a couple of packages we need which are not installed by default. So press save. Any changes you have made will only take effect after restarting Tails. So restart now. Okay, I'll pause the video and I'll come back once the restart has happened. Okay, so now we've rebooted Tails. We'll see we now have the encrypted persistent storage. We need to type in our password here. And press unlock. It'll take a moment to unlock. Now it's unlocked. Next, we need to click the plus. Click administration password. And we need to set an administration password. Now this is temporary, so we can install the software. Click add. Now we can start Tails. We'll just give this a moment to start. Okay, so now we have the persistent storage enabled and we've logged in and we've enabled the administrator access. What we can do is go to applications, system tools, terminal. The other thing we want to do is go to applications on the favorites you have files. So these are the folders here. Persistent, this is the persistent storage of the drive. So everything that will be saved to the USB and encrypted. Everything else is in memory. So we want to change directory to persistent so we can type CD persistent. And now we need to download the files here. So while we have the internet, we can say git clone. And I'll put the uh, address for this in the link in the description. And press enter. And what this will do, this will clone uh, my mnemonic USB repository into here. So if we do a CD into that folder that's created, ls, we can see the files there. So we've got three scripts. So we need to run the install app script first where we have internet access. So we can type sudo sh install apps.sh, enter. It'll ask us for the administrator password we set at the beginning. We type that and press enter. Now this will do an update of the repositories and then it will actually download two packages, zip and unzip. Because the way in which Tails works is everything is rooted through Tor. As you can see, get Tor plus HTTP is rooting everything through the Tor nodes, which make things quite slow. So what I'll do is I'll pause the video and I'll come back once this is completed. Once this is done, you will see a pop-up saying add, unzip and zip to your additional software. You need to press install every time so that every time we boot into Tails and we unlock the drive, it will install these apps. If for any reason this script fails, just run it again and then it will work. Any issues, just leave them in the comments below or the issues of the GitHub thread. Okay, so now we're ready to run the script. So what we need to do is we need to reboot and we need to boot back into Tails without any internet. So either unplug the ethernet cable or don't connect to the Wi-Fi when you boot. And once you've done that, I'll pause the video and do it now and then we'll move, ahead, move ahead. Okay, we're back. We don't have any internet connected, as we can see from the above. We can verify it as well if we want to by going to the Tor browser on the internet and making sure we can't get to any websites, to Google or anything. So what we need to do now is these scripts are here. When we run these scripts, we don't want to run them from this persistent volume. We actually want to run them from one of these places. Now the reason we want to do that is these are actually loaded into memory and they don't touch any physical media. 
So when we run it and we enter our seed phrase, it won't actually be stored anywhere. And it can't touch any drives. So the first is the create. We just need to copy that. Go to documents and paste. And from the terminal, we can go cd dot dot, which goes up, and then cd documents. Sorry, we're actually in documents. So ls pwd. We're in persistent. Sorry, we need to go up again. cd documents. Okay, so we have the create files sh here. So what we need to do now is run this script and we need to have the seed phrase ready. And it will ask us to insert the seed phrase. So now we'll run the script sudo sh create files.sh. Type in the password. So please enter your mnemonic phrase, separate each word with a space. So for the purpose of this, we're using the most common, which is bit 39, which is going to be a 12 word seed phrase. You can edit the script and add as many words as you want if you have a different wallet, which requires more words. So for this, I will just enter one to 12. Each number will represent a word in your seed phrase. And then it will tell us all of the words. We make sure it's correct and we'll say yes, that's correct. And now we need to enter a seed password to encrypt the files. Okay. So as we saw, it split it into multiple and now there's two zip files. So each zip file, if we open up AA, so you see an error occurred. A, B, an error occurred. So these weren't open because they need to be joined back together before they're opened. So what we can do is copy this file to one USB, this file to another USB, and store them separately. So once we have stored both of these files, we're going to want to join them back together so we can actually see what the phrase is. So the way we do this is we go back to the persistent where the scripts are. So we'll go home, persistent, mnemonic USB, and then we need the restore files. So if we copy this and then we put this in the documents. So remember in this documents folder, everything here on reboot, because it's in memory, it's just going to be blanked. That's where we're running it here. So restore files. So we're going to imagine now you've copied these for safekeeping on separate USBs. You're now ready to restore. So you'll boot from your tails, copy the restore file into documents, and then you'll copy both of these files from each USB into this location. You'll then go sudo sh restore password, the administrator password we set. And now we need the password we set to encrypt. complete. So it doesn't actually delete these files. It just puts the phrase text. When we open the phrase text, we can see it has all of the seed words. So that's the end of this video. If you want to be even more secure, you can actually encrypt each of the USB sticks. I'll leave a link in the description of how you can do that with Tails. The reason I like this method is because I don't want to write down my seed phrase on a piece of paper because, I mean, firstly I could store the paper, but I could lose the paper. Anyone could see the paper. This way it's actually in multiple locations and we can. it's also encrypted. Like I said, you can double encrypt it if you encrypt the drives as well. And it's easy to, it's easy to um, decrypt through the tails. The other thing that I uh, like about this is but firstly you need access i mean you can do it to more than two drives you could put it on 100 drives if you wanted you can split it as many times as you want by editing the script obviously that's a bit crazy uh two i think is good enough and you also want to make sure that you 
either do this twice or back up each of those USBs because if they get corrupted, then you're going to have issues. That's the end of the video. If you like this video and you want to sign up for more good content, please subscribe to the channel and like this video. Leave a comment below if there's anything you'd like to see in the future. Thank you very much.